So yon yonder's a pouch for your phone so you can pay attention in class. It works like this. The green circle goes down, you press the button on the back, and it pops open. I think it's pretty tense right now because none of us want to put our phone in the thingy. I like my phone, obviously. I think every kid does. Yes, there's going to be some stress, there's going to be some anxiety because you can't get to your phone, but I think it's going to help them interact more with their classmates. So Yonder was really started in the entertainment industry for adults um, because adults have a huge problem putting their phone away during a comedy show or a music show. Um, so artists like Chris Rock have decided to take that distraction away from adults. And then some teachers and principal went to shows and thought that this would be a great idea for schools. About six or seven years later, we're in 1,200 schools across the country. Uh, so today we're starting with our Yonder program here at Chickabee Comp, um, something that We've been notifying parents and students uh, for quite some time. Uh, September 26th was going to be the morning. Uh, so today as kids came in, uh, they, were putting their, they were shutting their cell phones off and putting them in pouches as we're trying to put the focus back on what is going on in class. Their whole logic is to get students to focus and like up their grades and like um, work on like you know school and stuff instead of like focusing on phones. It's honestly a sad day for the students. I'm not gonna lie. I, I came to school this morning not wanting to be at school for the first time this year. But what we are seeing is on a daily basis, teachers are spending a lot of time reminding students to put their phones away um, and not wanting to argue with students. Because nobody can get off their phones and people aren't listening and which like sucks because there are people who are listening. Um, there's been a lot of issues with like students using their phones during class and when they're not supposed to and it's kind of disruptive. I think the classroom atmosphere today is going to be very different because I think that students are going to be missing their devices. Um, I think moving forward, once we get past that withdrawal period, uh, it's going to be different still in the way that you're going to have students talking to each other more, you're going to have students engaging with the teacher more. Um, I think it's going to be more of a communal environment as this takes a hold. I don't know, I'm 50-50 about it. I don't like the yonder pouches, but also a lot of people are getting in trouble with their phones. So. I'm neutral. I mean, I don't think it's going to really make a difference. Me personally, I'm not supporting it. With, with change, there always comes the stress and the anxiety. I think they should have used it as like um, three strikes and you're out instead of making us all have to have the um, yonder bags. I think a lot of people are going to be um, resistant to the change. They're not going to want to do it, but I think eventually it will work. It might be a good idea, but at the same time, like it is very like nerve-wracking to have your phone in a pouch all day when you're used to having it every single day. Starting off every day by put your phone away, uh, what are you looking at? It's just not a positive um, experience on a daily basis. So we typically see a 90 to 98 percent compliance within the first two days. And then after that, the compliance usually shoots up to about a 98 percent. It's really the fact that we're dealing with phones and that students, you know, are going through a real change. Yeah, yeah. If they tamper with the bags, there are consequences for that. You know, it's essentially vandalism or destruction of property. Um, and there is protocols or are protocols in place to, to handle those. Yeah, I think this is going to like force people to make like more friends and like be more outgoing and talk to people. When we're all um, used to it, we're probably going to be a lot more focused on class. It might be a little bit louder, but we would think that would be a good thing because kids are actually talking to each other and, and uh, engaging in more social interactions after the pandemic. 
you know, this is almost a skill that was lost by a lot of kids this age, so uh, we would be happy to get it a little bit louder uh, because they're talking to each other. I look at Chickpea High. If they can do it, we can do it too. So I, I don't think it's going to be a big problem here.